what is the relationship between curriculum, instruction, and assessment? Well, the model that many of us grew up with starts with students. And there are many people who care what students learn about. Uh, the school, the parents, and industry. And what they've done is they've created a list of things that they think a student should be able to master and understand. And with that, they've packed together textbooks and videos and papers, and this is the curriculum. So the relationship between the curriculum and the student is that the curriculum informs the student what it is they need to know. Now, once a student knows it, it's hard for us to know what they know since we can't see that, right? It's an intangible object. So we have assessments, and the role of the assessment is to confirm the level of mastery each student has. And the teacher's role in this model is to administer this system. However, the research shows something very different. The research shows that real learning takes place between the teacher and the student. Asking questions between the teacher and the student and the student interacting with other students, that is what the research shows causes those aha moments where real learning takes place. And so everything should be supporting this relationship, including the school, the parents, industry, also curriculum and assessment should be used to support this relationship. So can software help alignment? Can software support assessment? The answer is yes. However, it must be easy because classroom teachers not only have a classroom to work with, but they always have so many other tasks outside of the classroom that when you tax them using some kind of software system that is difficult to use or requires a lot of their time, it's just not feasible for them to, to use it on a daily basis. Gradling simplifies this. It allows the teacher to do a number of things, such as customizing their lesson plans. Uh, this way, they can still use the system in the manner that makes sense for them. They also have the ability to track which standards are being taught on the lesson plan level as well as the assignment level. And this can feed into a standards-based system. And thirdly, other teachers or administrators can provide their teacher observations right on the lesson plan itself, making it easier for teachers to have reflection on that. So what can be measured? What kind of reports can we provide? Well, what measured gets improved? And so these are the reports that you can run in GradeLink. One, you can run a report that shows you which standards have been covered by the lesson plans or which standards have been covered by individual assignments. And this can be reported on over a course of a year or one quarter or one trimester at a time. And you can drive in by teacher or by subject. This way you can make sure that teachers are on track. You can drill down into these reports and you can actually look at individual strands and standards. And you can see what learning is going on. And this can be very informative for teachers to understand which students might need some uh, assistance in the classroom and which ones are ready to move on. You can also set your criteria here. You can see in the top right corner that the criteria is that you need to teach this assignment two times. So far we're at one and uh, we have to say 85% of our students need to master this. Right now we have 71.4%. So this particular standard is still in the mix. Lastly, Research shows that parent engagement leads to student learning. And that's why GradeLink provides an app for every parent free of charge. That way parents have all the ability to be engaged with what their student is learning. In the app, the parents can see what's for homework, what's been completed, what hasn't been completed. They can also read notes from the teacher about on their lesson showing what they're learning in class and how they're teaching it. In addition to that, Parents have access to the calendar. It shows visually the events at the school in addition to the assignments. Teachers can put together newsletters that explain, what, again, what's happening in the classroom. And report cards are fully customizable, allowing you to list your report cards either in traditional style or standard space or a hybrid, and also have extensive narrative comments. The three ways GradeLink helps with alignment are customizable and easy inputs for teachers, great reporting, and parent engagement tools.